A group of parents have branded a Cambridgeshire school draconian six months after a change in behavioural policy was introduced. They claim pupils at St Ivo's school have been given detentions for minor mistakes like forgetting pens and books or talking in class, which is affecting their mental health. The Australia Academy Trust says it's helped to create a safe, uh, calm and purposeful environment. Kate Bradbrook reports. I think the thing that concerned me most was just hearing that the behaviour policy was making kids really fearful about going to school and developing uh, tics because they were so worried. We have uh, children who are scared of forgetting their spare pen, their spare pencil, because they will get detention as a result. So draconian now, they're not allowed to raise their hand in class. The concerns of parents whose children attend St Ivo Academy in Cambridgeshire. Since September, they say a change in behavioural policy and strict new rules have left some pupils seeking access to mental health services. One of the most appalling really is their lack of basic human rights, which is the toilets. They have, that they're only allowed to use certain toilet blocks each year group um, because there is a bit of an issue with vaping. They're often sent away, the toilets are often blocked off. And then they go into classroom obviously needing the loo. They're not allowed to go to the loo. So you have got teenage girls starting their parents leaking, leaking in class. You've got children actually having a toilet accident in the classroom. Hearing about children that aren't drinking at school all day because they're so worried they won't be able to make it to the toilet. It, it, it's just that welfare. The Parents Forum has surveyed 379 pupils and written to the school. The NASUWT union represents just over half of the school's teachers. They say it's affecting well-being. The amount of teachers leaving even at Easter from St Ivor Academy is above what we'd normally expect uh, because they are unhappy because again, they feel their professional autonomy and judgments are being undermined. They also feel very stressed by the continual monitoring by the management of the school. In a statement, the Australia Academy Trust said getting the culture right in schools is critically important, which is why we've introduced new routines and policies to help create a calm, safe and purposeful environment where all our students can learn and all our teachers can teach free from disruption. Australia says it regularly runs listening sessions and forums, but these parents and many others feel their concerns are falling on deaf ears. This problem's only going to get worse. What do we wait for, a child to commit suicide? It's just, it has to change and it has to change now. Kate Bradbrook, BBC Look East. Let's take a quick look now at some of today's other news.